Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's talk about iOS equalizer settings. So on any iOS device, you can get to the equalizer settings by going to settings. I want to do it here on my iPhone and scroll down to music. Under music, you can then select the EQ section and that takes you to the equalizer settings. So what does this do? Well, there's a variety of different settings here for different types of music. So you can select one that best suits the music you're listening to. For instance, uh, there's dance music, electronic, jazz, piano, classical, and even things like spoken word. So you can choose one that fits the style of music you're listening to at the moment or the one that you listen to the most often. Now notice how this was under the music app settings. So these will only affect music played by the music app. So if you're listening to another music app like Pandora or Spotify, these equalizer equalizer settings will not apply. The one exception is a special one called late night. When you select late night, that should affect all the sound coming out of your iPhone or iPad. And what that does is it, it centers on the mid-tones. So it's basically spoken word um, and it's good for listening to say uh, movies late at night. Uh, the idea being that you can still hear words that are spoken while music and sound effects are lessened. So uh, the idea is that you, you're listening to something late at night, everyone in the house is sleeping and you want to keep things a little quiet Then late night setting for you. Um, give it a try if you're doing that. So how do you decide on a setting? Well, one of the things you should do is play some music. So play a piece of music you're going to be listening to and go through these different settings while that music is playing and while you're using either the, the headphones or the speakers or whatever you're using to listen to it. And you can try out the different settings and find out which one sounds right to you. Unfortunately, there are no custom settings. You can't set it yourself. You have to use one of these presets. And those that are really interested in figuring out what these presets do, you can't find out on your iOS device the exact things that they're setting. But there is a way to find out. So run iTunes on your Mac or PC and there go to Window and Equalizer. And this will bring up the Equalizer here on your Mac. And here you do have specific settings. And you also notice that you have these presets which for the most part are the same as the ones on your iPhone. And if you switch to one you can see exactly what it's doing. So you can basically get familiar with the different settings here and then know exactly what it is that you're getting into if you set them that way on your iOS device. So here's another thing you can do while you're in iTunes. You can select a song or group of songs uh, and Command I to get info on them. Go to Options and you can set an equalizer preset. So I can set this one to Rock. Now once I sync this song to my iOS device if I've turned off the equalizer then it should use this equalizer preset for this song. So I can take all my rock songs for instance and set them to rock and all my classical songs and set them to classical and then as I go through the songs uh, it should uh, play them using the equalizer preset on my iOS device. Now here's another tip. It's widely reported that having your equalizer set to off on your iPhone will save battery life. Which makes sense because it's doing more processing of the music before it plays it back. I'm not sure how much this affects the most recent models. I haven't noticed any change on mine. But if you're very sensitive about battery life you may want to take that into account. It's also important to realize that this is a very personal preference. The equalizer setting that sounds good to you on a certain song is not going to sound good to somebody else. And it depends how good your ears are, how good your headphones are, or the speakers you're using are. So it really varies from person to person. It's a personal preference and you probably want to go through and see whether or not it's worthwhile playing with equalizer settings to make your music listening experience better. Hope you found this useful. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. If you found this video useful, there's one thing you can do for me in return. It won't cost you anything and it will just take you a few seconds. If you're not already at MacMost.com, go there and then look for the video you just watched and go to that page. Underneath the video you'll see a bunch of different links that help you share the video with friends. Take a second to click the like button. This sends a signal out to the rest of the internet that the video is worth watching. Thanks.